It's a little delayed. Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Doki Doki Literature Club video. It's your boy, TNG Cran. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Uh, didn't really think this video through. Uh, this is gonna be an issue. Um, so basically, uh, when I film this. I don't believe it or not. This is a mask. I know you guys are probably like, what the fuck, Cran? That's a mask. Yes. And the issue is this. How the fuck am I supposed to drink this? Uh, jump cut! You know, dude, sometimes I just want to die. <laughs> sometimes I just want to fucking end my life. Let's go get some fucking drink, then. I had to go fight a wildebeest. Ah! I got this modern contraption called a straw. Never used one of these before. So let's see how this works. By the way, do you guys like McFoley? Yeah, by the way, if I'm looking over in this direction, that one of these directions a lot is because my camera's over there, so I can tell that I'm still in focus. There. Okay. A straw. Ah! I'm going to knock this over 110%. Um, put it right there. I won't knock it over there. Uh, so, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, sponsored by Smarty. Uh, where am I? I didn't really think. I brought those to eat those. How the fuck? They don't make a straw for food, Crane. I mean, they do. Technically, any straw could be used for food, but I mean. Okay, let's just get into it. I'm. Uh, forgot the game's all fucked up now, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck my ass! Okay. Uh, where... What am I looking for? I honestly don't know what the fuck I was looking for. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, I completely forgot who the fuck we are gonna romance. I don't- I honestly don't really think it matters. Let's just go with Yuri. Phone. Hey, you guys wanna see my message? Ah, uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, secret fan video? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Was there anything weird on that that I might not want to show you guys? We're good. So let's go with Yuri. Uh, so she likes anxiety, probably. Yeah. Uh, explode. <laughs> Inferno. This is going to be really easy. Death. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> uh, calm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Suicide. Hell yeah, dude. Suicide is badass. Tears. Misfo- Oh, I almost pressed- Oh, who? Disarray. Um. Dark. Unending. Is. Rick and Morty. Uh, um. Massacre. Wrath. Frightening. Scars. Um. Ambient. Uh. Depression. Uh. uh extreme. And for the finale, Disaster Artist. Out in theaters now. Oh god, here we go. I haven't done Marge Simpson in a while. And I haven't done her voice in a while either. So, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> I am crammed! She was Mo Monica. She was uh, Marge, right? Yeah. Oh, I see you didn't run away on us! <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least... Uh, but at least... But I at least kept my word. Keep, I, but I at least keep my word. I'm dumb. What 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 is what is, what is this hair situation right now? Like what even is this hair? Like what the fuck? I don't. I don't know. I also need to. Am I even recording? I'm not even recording. <sighs> I want to die so bad. Well, at least that's recording. Is it recording now? Okay, three, two, one, bang. Uh, well, you guys did have, uh visual for the entire fucking seven minutes I've been going. All you have is my camera and my stupid face. Ooh, I'm stupid. See, okay, guys, I've never done this before. Am I even gonna, am I even gonna show you what I did before? Like, is it even worth having you sit there for seven minutes of just fucking just my face? I'm sweating my, I'm going to lose 35 fucking pounds from just playing. I was last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. By the way, this was a Oh, oh, what the fuck? Thanks for keeping your promise, Crand. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst in the literature when you're not accustomed to it. What was her- oh yeah, she was like, uh... Oh, come on, I like a hit of any slack. You already had to be a drug to have my mind key. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out a hot. If you don't take us seriously, then you want to see the end of it. Um, I've been I've been playing for eight minutes. I'm sweating like a fucking madman. Probably shouldn't be wearing this thick ass jacket. Bitch, you're over the goddamn text. Masuki finds herself stuck be between saying Monica and manga. Manga is the little huh? I just I just ah my eyes I just ugh, ah. Swiftly defeated, Nasuki plops back in her seat. Probably shouldn't have thrown this in the dirt. In the in the in the dirt. How do you guys like this upgrade over here? I I wanted the future. Pretty cool. Why is she super close, or is that just me? I'm sorry, Crand. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Nasuki with a disappointing glance. I thought this bitch just shot Nasuki. No, I didn't. I'm not retarded. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, 
I I can't really say no either way. By the way, I can barely move my head in this. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something that if like that if you ask. Hashtag AL6. Hashtag TNJ's Krant. Don't actually do that. You guys like my beard? I grew it because I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Wait, where am I clicking? Where did my mouse go? Okay, wait, wait, I didn't mean it like that. By the way, I also need to pull this up. Uh, where'd it go? I can't see that far. Eh. Okay. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, oh, no, not that, Yori. Oh, rip Sayori, my dude. Rip Sayori, my dudes. I want to try and be part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Did I read that? I don't uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. You reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. By the way, I should probably open this, shouldn't I? Don't worry about the flag of Afghanistan. I don't... I don't know what that is. I think it's just a black picture. So I don't... I don't know why it says flag of Afghanistan. Who knows? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is from today. Oh, shit. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a is a right, right, writhing, writhing. Cran doesn't know English. Cran doesn't know English. I have school shooter hair right now. Uh, beneath and by the twist a mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find, that's sexual, into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire. Wow, that's like me making cramp- what? Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only. By the sleeves of a cute new shirt. <laughs> Such a deplorable, tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Oh, Monica. Hey, Monica. You need to chill out, okay? You need to chill out. So that that was that, that was the newest thing, I guess. So let's all let's just minimize this. Okay. Re Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so just keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss if you wanted. Let me smash. The, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Accidentally being so cute. Accidentally being so cute! That one's for you, Scott Meister. <laughs> okay. How was your uh, She even picked out a book she, she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. I don't read it all, actually. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. By the way, I didn't... I, if the audio is fucked and this video sucks ass, I'm very sorry. I want to make this one the best Doki Doki Literature Club, and I think I just fucked it all up by trying to do this fucking face cam bullshit. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do to my wall later with my dick. If this video sucks, this face is already buried in a book. I can't help but no it's like I don't know if this, if my if my voice is even coming through this mask into this thing. I don't I don't know if that's working. I also don't know if this is even synced up. I also don't know what the fuck happened the first nine minutes of me talking. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do there. 
this video is fucked, and I can't restart. I mean, I could theoretically load back in my save and just pretend none of this ever happened, but I had a really good bit in the beginning of me going to get a fucking straw, so that's stay in the video! Ugh, oh, Morty. Focus. There we go. I can't help but notice her intent. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Masuki is rummaging around in the closet. <laughs> what is she gay? Ha ha ha! Got him. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah! Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, or in our eyes meet for a split second. Dot, dot, dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her put. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter the sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. She want the credit. She want the credit. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Ah, uh, that's not what I meant! I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah. I see, you know, when you actually go to the bookstore... I've already read this, and I did the exact same thing where I was gonna say, "You know, yeah, go book dog, I can buy book." Shit. This razor is dull. Okay, it didn't work. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging, relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well... Hmm... I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. The Portrait of Markov. Let's, let's open Portrait of Markov. Oh, there's an ominous... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's about this religious... Oh, fuck. Basically, it's about this religious camp that has turned into a, a, a human experiment prison. And the people t trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Bitch suck my bloody finger the other day! Oh my god! Do you know do it? I wanna die, I'm gonna- Whoo boy! I can't believe I just said that. I cannot believe- Can you see my face right now? You probably saw some of it. A little sneak peek of what Crand actually looks like. Let me get my phone out. I keep it- in my sleeve. So when I need to fuck a bitch up, I'm like, hey, what up? Pokemon, go to the polls. And I pull out my phone and I go, ah, get away! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. I bet I'll have lust for blood yet. But the, f uh, the facility gets even worse and they start select selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating asfix asfix them. Hey Siri, can you help me not be retarded? What? Hey Siri, am I retarded? Why? What is the meaning of life? 
What? I'm... Do you know who TNGX Crand is? She knows too much. We must kill her. Do you know who TNG X Crand is? No, not Crandon, you fucking retard. That's my full name. TNG X Crand. You're not going to be able to read that. Oh, you can almost see it. Can you go fuck yourself? No What's my name, bitch? Okay, well, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, uh, but if, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, that might be a little too, uh, a little bit of a spoiler, but anyway, I, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. No, 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 the thing about the limbs. That's kind of. It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. This bitch freaky, my dude. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Cran? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to completely be different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway, then suddenly... I'm- I'm randomly, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Insert Shrek meme here. I don't know why I wanted to- Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you- uh, let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts- MY WHOLE- MY WHOLE BODY- SQUARE 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 I kind of forget to pay attention to other people, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Jesus fucking Christ! I'm sweating my fucking ass off right now. That's better. Oh god. Yeah, yes! I, I mean, you don't have to, but... Ha ha ha, what are you saying? Dot dot dot. Let me just re get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I, ha that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to, just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. <gasps> Am I recording with this microphone? If I'm not, I'm a fucking... Oh! I'm not! Ah! I'm so sorry that I've been recording 24 fucking minutes with this microphone that might not even be on. I want to fucking die, dude. Like, I legitimately want to fucking die.
Where's my mouse at? I opened the book and set the prologue. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know if for the fucking whole 25 minutes I've been recording, if it even has audio. So many good fucking skits that I just did, dude, like, just got fucking ruined. Because I'm fucking retarded. 25 fucking minutes of maybe just me fucking talking. The first part, I didn't even record the fucking screen. And now I didn't even record the audio this entire fucking time. So 27, 20 something minutes is just on that camera. And the audio might not even be on. Everything that I just did got fucked. I'm so fucking angry. I wanted this to be the best Doki Doki video on my channel. And it has become literally the fucking worst video I'm going to ever upload on my channel. The first fucking seven minutes are just gonna be me. No game. Just me. The next 25 minutes are just gonna be microphone audio from that camera. You're probably not even gonna be able to fucking hear me or anything that I did for that first 25 fucking minutes. That's stupid, dude. See, this, this, is, this is why I don't do the face cam shit, because everything gets fucking destroyed. Let's just keep going like nothing happened, okay? We still have a lot of this game left. It's as if I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. Is she actually in the corner of the screen? Because I can't see, like, anything. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. It is legitimately so fucking hot in this mask right now, like, I'm fucking dying. I thought it just fell over. Uh, Yuri, you realize you apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. You guys 100% didn't hear me talk as Yuri at all, did you? Great. I mean... Ah uh, ha ha ha. Here, this should work, right? I saw my desk under... Uh, 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 until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. I am really nervous that I didn't record any audio for the first 25 minutes. And it's literally just going to be me just sitting there. I guess I'll just dub over what I said if it... If it... it that's going to be really hard for when I'm going on a tangent not reading the screen. Because I'm going to have no fucking idea what the hell is happening. I'm going to do one more clip just in case. I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we re uh, each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in, in the way, so instead I use my right arm, right right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Cute. Cute. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way... I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her, uh, under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. Where, where did my phone... Okay, I thought I spilled water on my phone and I was about to freak out. This hood is falling off. I feel the warm in your face as she's in the corner. Are you re are you ready? Eh! To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Her bobs. I glance over at your face again and her eyes mute. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used you're not as used to reading, right? 
I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. Oh, look at your smile. Oh, look at that. You just like my smile. Just whoop, whoop. I'm still very angry at myself, by the way. Like, I'm very pissed off. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been, oh fuck, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished. She finishes the pages before me, so I turn it by my own volition. I just realized literally everything that I did before. You probably didn't hear. <sighs> we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently uh, letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to the side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh. My. Fucking. God. No, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. <laughs> really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ha, ha. That's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N -n never mind. We didn't get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Holy fuck. Ah! Yeah, are you feeling alright? Eh? yuri has been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Ah, oh, my fucking eyeball. Ugh. If you're feeling sick or something. My breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand over her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Oh, what the fuck? Every time I look up, I don't... S okay. My peripheral vision is literally probably this much on my screen. My screen's about yay big. So I only see about this much at most. So every time I look up at her, her fucking mouth is wide open. Her eyes are fucking gigantic. And it's like, oh! Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Grand! Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was making- I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes. It's nothing alarm. That's so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say- F All right, if you say so. Uh. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Did I put a straw back? Oh, yeah. Who should I show my poem to first? Natsukai. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. That's why. Eh? Crud! If you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm a stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort in this bitch. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still, if you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Huh? Painful to think about? Huh? Fine. We're well, sorry. Let it get up at the end of the way. I had to tell you it won't prove that you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, each their own, I guess. No way, I guess I gotta share mine now. Long you, you'll probably think it's a stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can jump, F monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's it? Okay, I clicked like seven times and I just didn't do Yeah. I told you you're gonna like it. I like it. Oh. Just to be honest. Uh, I am silly goose. <laughs> Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because even a high school thinks that the writing has to be all our sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? 
very, very good, very good quote. Very, very good thought. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes! Exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. I'm not gonna make a joke about that because she's underage. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Look at this turn out this up home. Oh, Even when I want to do the great things to me, Billy, this is a hot need. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. I understand. You my parents left when I was two years old and they kicked me in the curb and I went, ew, 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 ew. Uh yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about sensible writing is that it puts more weight in the word play. Like I said, the poor I rhyme at the end, but then I made the full flap on purpose. It helps to bring it to the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Look, she's a fang just like me. See, but I have two fangs, so I'm fucking cooler than her. She only. She's only got one. Yeah, no, we're good. We're... We still beat her. Two fangs better than one. I'm going to do Linda's hunting. They didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Now we're going to go there. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor with that last statement. Comment, comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. So I'm going to take that. Be. Vol Volkswagen away from her her Volkswagen card not anything else that starts with a V uh, who should I show my poem to next hmm who should I show my poem to next we have let's see Monica 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 just a Monica Okay! Monica. Hi, Crand! Having a good time so far? Yeet! Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Always watching. Always watching. By the way, this gag that I did earlier when I went ah! Didn't hear it. So I did it again. Don't be afraid don't Alright, I'll just keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Any, anyway. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? I want to share something else with you, Monica. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Monica, my poem. Mm, great job, Cran. I'm going, oh, in my pussy, when I, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. You know, I like to go deep all the time. Estimated you. They always do. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, uh, that's not very 
quite nice. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, Yuri likes this. You know, Yuri. Man, it's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. My reality or your reality? <laughs> I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. So she spends so much time in her own head, that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think that she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interactions, so bl don't blame her for coming out a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and... Too stimulated, you say? <laughs> Time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not not really. We all just started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, well, that's because I have a sign coming in. That doesn't mean I don't even know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Every time that uh, fucking pot scares the shit out, let's go see if anything is new. Doesn't look like it. Hole in wall. Whoa, like right there. And right... There. And somewhere over... On this side, too, probably. I don't... But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? Sorry. The sound... The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right. He, he, he. What? Oh, oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's right there. Sawing my fears, I brandish my pen. <gasps> I have a pen. I have a pineapple. Sex. Where's my cursor? There we go. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, that's kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of bombs I've been putting emphasis on time in between words and lines. For fun download, it be very powerful. Focus. Was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influenced by poems a bit. Sorry, that was angry at me. An epiphany? Like that thing in that Simpsons movie? Are you Homer? Wait, hold on. I give her a Marge voice. And one of the big things in that Simpsons movie was that fat lady having an epiphany. And Homer's like, My epiphany! And they're like, Epiphany, epiphany, a titty, I see a titty, I see a titty, I see a titty, and he goes, FOCUS! Sorry. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. I'm going to come on you strong. Sometimes I wish I was never born. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Why does it feel like my mask is getting looser? It honestly probably is. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixy on a specific point. 
I like this part because it's in the song, your reality. So just keep your hand on my mom, 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 Here we go, homegirl Yuri. Oh god, her eyes scared the fuck out of me. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Eh? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I. Ooh. He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Ah. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of write, uh, writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? I've only written fanfiction about Yuri getting fucked in the ass really hard. I need help. Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. Don't mind these holes that I'm puncturing into the mask that you've probably haven't noticed before. These are totally nothing. Uh, this is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um... Yuri tears off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from topic matter, and they form fit it together. The end result is both the, both the style and the expression are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into even a simple writing style. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. I'm sure you can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Ah, uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're just apologizing yourself to me or Nasuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, if that's a, I thought that said rape, and I was really, I was really confused. So if it's a rare opportunity for her, which in itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the lights, the tendrils of my hair illuminate. I've read this already. Ooh! I, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. Eh. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your hair running is pretty. Just like your... Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's, it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all, cutie. I, I, uh, person. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I hope. You're gonna be digesting something else later if you know what I mean. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Heal you! Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Crand. Really? I might have totally missed the point. Well, I guess you didn't, uh, you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their thought, own thoughts, feelings, and ex experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Well, that's a lot more solemn when you put it that way. I don't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? Eh, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah, I'm retarded. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. 
You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Crand. Damn right. Eh, me too. When do I get a f Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It says, if anyone is judging me for my meager writing, even if they're just being nice, there's no way up on the up to theirs. This is a laser club after all. I sigh. Ooh. I didn't like that. Did the audio just die? Or did I just hear that wrong? Because that actually, like, I don't know why, but that scared me. Something sounded like it was out of tune. I guess what I'm getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. Myla and Yuri Nasuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their retrospective poem. Oh, here we go. This is a read time with uh, Nasuki's eyebrows burning, and meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, if nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. I already read all this. Why did the audio stop? Why, why, why did the audio stop? Okay, it was doing that. Okay. Jesus Christ, that was scary. That, that scared me. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of the way to make everything I do over the key to but you know what, Hoth? I wasn't the one whose boobs the magic could grow such a big as soon as Kanda show up. And then Asuki. And Asuki, that's a little. Like, I'm not watching you around here. Taking out your own securities on others like that. You really act young as you look, Asuki. Me? I was a talking one to be edgy, bitch. Oh, go. God. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much of, of, for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that to prove my point. What do they learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? You want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you, you, you can counterband as your toxic personality by just dressing and acting cute? Nothing cute about it is how hard you try. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, be careful, you might have cut yourself on that edge of Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on! The crowd have everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be, he'll be held over heels after you this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she noticed I was standing here. Grand! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's another true. She started it! Whoa! Yuri! Yuri! Oh, fuck, dude! Yuri! 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 Fuck! Just Monica. Just, just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. 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 Um. Hey, Grand. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? My head is like, you know. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. Looking back inside once they're done yelling. Ah, the person I am, right? I can't even confirm my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have any need to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less t time with others, then that's fine. I'll be able to spend more time with you instead. I think it's runs out of the classroom. Oh, no, Nasuki, no, 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 no. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Oh, Nasuki looks so sad. This is, this is bad. This is not good at all. 
This is bad. I think I know what's gonna happen, and mm hmm. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Nasuki or did. Crand, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. When you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Nasuki will figure out about this by the tomorrow. Completely. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri looks at me as she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Yeah. You go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I... Oh, fuck. You go first, Monica. And the, the present so I should be the last one out. I'm waiting for you to be done. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Well, well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want to be around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Cran. It would be just embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I said I really don't have a choice, do I? Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really... <laughs> oh, boy. I... We're gonna do Yuri again, because fuck Asuki. Nisu don't do that, because she's underage, but, you know, like... Get her out of here. Tragedy. Disaster. Am I blind? Itchy. God. Ugh. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting of God fucking. <laughs> My mask is fucked. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable over here, uh, here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Cram. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if Yuri's ex expression, but the weight of yes, the weight of her breasts, the weight of yes, coils in the air a little. Uh, um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Suki is reading manga at a desk. Surprisingly, like Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like this has ever happened before, and. Something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Asuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were cons consider and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here for a couple days, I can tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little uh, extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. <laughs> now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Crayon. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. You made me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Ah. Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys just seen the Monde huh? Ah! Huh? No. No, oh, fuck. No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Nasuki is addressing her. No, no, I haven't. This isn't like a thought all. Not so stupid, but I gotta have a word a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Masuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Hey, what the heck are you talking about? You do something like that yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Uh, what is it in your mind? I'm sure it does nothing. I don't even remember anything about the happening. The kind of person who wears too much on top of the other thing I don't do. Da, da, da. But, but... I accept your apology anyway. It helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was afraid that you would secretly hit me or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, not at all. I don't hate you. 
<laughs> what kind of a weird but I don't hate you either. Da da da. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. What up, Bia? Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys were on the way or anything. Nah. Well, Nasuki was. I I was not. <sighs> what? Uh, what took you so long in the way? Ah. Well, my last period today was stunning all. <laughs> and you thought of something else, didn't you? You thought of stuff that looks like this. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <sighs> that makes no sense, though. We took out the bell to ring at the least. Wasn't I've heard it since I practiced piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ow. Ah, don't give me much more credit than I know my women. I haven't been practicing for a while, and I'm not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should really play something for us for some time. Ah, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on a writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. I wonder what that song could be. I wonder if it'll be in my reality or your reality person watching my YouTube video. Did I blow your mind? Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I'm all you down, Crand. Micah smiles sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share with you anyway. Guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything the uh, three of us talking about. Besides, Nasuki has already run out of the closet. Crand, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club! Yeah, definitely. I plan on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah, ah! I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have such energy. Yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I want people to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and uh, pulls a copy of her uh, out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if we make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make reading time here any better, is a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Uh oh. Fall out as I watch this for a while. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Your hands me a small water pitcher and also fetch the kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. Push me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. So we watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves kind of tries to keep me mad, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the room. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like this this time. He's filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Oh, fuck my life, dude. Fuck my life. Fuck it. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see. The most logical place for you to be would be near this water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale, like something is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <laughs> I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Cran, do you like oolong tea? Ah, uh, yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature in the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when making to put the... Even though I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hew, 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 loo. Please watch, uh... Game of Thrones and Family Guy. Family Guy's on Hulu, right? I, I don't... In that case, you'll only be more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. You go, Yuri. You go, girl. You go, girl. Yuri, best girl. 
Turns out I'm not, uh, I'm not very uh, hard. For, it's not very. When, when is you around anyway? Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Crayon. It's very endearing. Is that a little Sayori that I see? That's Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Crayon, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why is that? It's a little more easier on my back. Her back. You got? Do you know why her back hurts? I, I don't know. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? Wonder why that is. It's most. It's most likely because of my, ah, uh, my, my. Your posture, right? Yeah, Crand, her posture. Always slumped over like that while reading. Yes. I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I'll treat the book for my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Here we go, boys. Here we go. This is some fucking weight food shit coming up now. Small bag of chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. You and I sit against the wall. Tea cups at our sides. As if in sync, we, we, we assume the same reading position as, uh, as last time. Each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Huh? Yuri sits closer. Our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri's always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Oh, thank you. Holding with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Touch it, dude. She fucking wants the fucking D. Just fucking touch that shit. Touch her boobs, grab and go. Mm. She wouldn't mind. She wears her intense reading expression, and I only presume the world around her fades away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Da -da 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 -da. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll have the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Breathe it in, boys. Breathe it in. <sighs> Breathe it in. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any hard time reading from it. But as real, her, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Hell yeah. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on the reading again. I'll take a chocolate and him pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I instantly place the chocolate in her mouth. Look at that shit. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Huh? Your expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Crayon? S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Crayon. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Crayon. Jesus. F fucking Christ, it scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. I thought that was my door, and I'm like, I'm gonna get murdered, because there's no one in my house. I'm gonna legitimately get murdered. Like, someone's gonna walk in and be like, what the fuck is this kid wearing? I'm gonna get shotgun to the fucking forehead. Are we in the closet right now? Is that was that what that door was and the light turned? Are we in the closet right now? My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Crand. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Crand? Yuri suddenly pressing my hand up against her chest. Sorry, I'm just trying to feel her heartbeat. Oh no, this is where she gets fucking creepy, right? Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh god, here we go. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Okay, then. Ha <laughs> ha. This bitch thinks she's crazier than me. Do you know what I am? 
bitch. We're on the same page. I'm freaky, you're freaky. Let's, let's fucking go. Ha ah. ha ah. I'm like this. Why? Why, McFoley? Why? Why, 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 why? God damn it, Monica! Um, it's time to share poems! Who should I show my poem to first? Let's see, get her out of the way. Da da da. Yeah, just as I thought. Hey, Grand, come on. I'm not a stupid. I know how much you've been spending time with Yuri. It's obviously you care uh, more about the pressure how they're trying to improve your writing. But the balance it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Grand? Honestly. Uh, uh, I'm not getting a new member with Ellie. Next, we each other even more. This is just stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood, okay? I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. I'm sorry, Mo Monica. I'm sorry, uh, Nasuki. I feel bad for her. I Nasuki just is underappreciated. We gotta do Yuri last. No, actually, we gotta do Monica last, because, you know, just Monica. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've, been, you've written for today. Here's just the poem with a surprise expression on her face. Do you like it? Grand. This one might be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you about the kind of techniques we're practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. Really wanted to try something, giving it more imagery. Here it visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, ah, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Crane. Well, look how happy she is, dude. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ah, ha, ha. I want to write a poem about the stealing. Is that bad, Crand? I'm not being weird, right? I, I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Jesus fucking Christ. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Time controlled by, uh, by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time. <clears throat> devouring snakes with human eyes. Uh, a thread connecting all human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of a... God disproving the existence of a god. Wow. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks... I thought it said fart. Forty, 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock... Of a docked ship to another world. Classic of blood written in clocks. <sighs> a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I understand. Let's check this. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. How many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. Suicide is bad at. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? I didn't say that just in case it fucking destroys the game. I, 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 I don't know how that would destroy the game. It's a text file, but who the fuck knows? Monica's gonna get pissed off. She's like, why the fuck did he change my code? Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter what's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on, on your pen. Ah, uh, that, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um... I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah, 
I'm, I'm okay. What did I just... Dot, dot, dot. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? I can keep the poem. You can keep the poem, though. Is the poem in here? Okay, this just popped up literally just now, right? Am I retarded? No, okay. Yeah, I'm retarded. <sighs> it's hard being this dumb, you know? I'm gonna show my poem to next. Oh, I don't know. Monica, maybe? Great, I saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with you, right? I don't know why, but she's just pretty easily excited about when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. When Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. And she just gets a kind of a high from it. I mean, it'd be like a sexual thing. <laughs> well, I'm down. If it is. Like, I'm down. Hit me up, Yuri. Hit me up. One five 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 sixty nine sixty nine four twenty blaze it. But the but the problem is you got a bit enabling her. I think it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I'd explain it all to you. So that if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. Why well, right, don't be trying to spend a long time with me? But lately, I at least have it together in, in my head. But I know how to treat my club members. Just Monica, guys. Remember, just Monica. But anyway, you wanna read my poem now? I guess. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta get the school shooter hair going. You wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turns out. We do too. Oh god, this fell over and scared me. I thought there was someone touching the back of my head. I was about to fucking yell. I mean, uh, I'm not scared of anything. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright. Be <laughs> piercing. Red, blue, green. And, and cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop! Vital. Gret. Wit. In a. Squeaking. Screech. Piercing. Sign. Cosine. Tangent. Like playing a guard of a turn table. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. That was subtle. In. Let's. Um, of me. Is she fucking Hitler? Delete her. No. No. I'm not. No. No way in hell am I deleting my homegirl Yuri. No. Sorry, no, that's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell, tell me you can hear me. Anything. I... I guess I'll help. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. That's a pretty cool poem. What the fuck? Um. Okay. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we have to get over today. Then everyone could just come and sit in the front of the room. Oh, I don't know why that startled me. Is it the face of you? What the fuck is that sound? A rat. Ew. Let me put that in together. I just hope it is. That's a concern of mine. Is bye. I even clicked the button and it still fucking scared me. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, and everyone's a little bit more. Lively ever since Cram joined and we've started with the club activities. This is the first time we're four members. The festival's only initiated. Uh 
Not really. In spite of them to find the same feeling you brought in the first place, I should go to be my money. Be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. Uh, I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the best time. Right, Cran? Eh. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm going to talk Cran to agree with you because you don't say anything. No, come on, the cat. Do you really think Amy has to join the club for people in mind? You never even talked to talk Cran to join. So for me, I feel like it's better than I do at home. Cran isn't even part of the literature in the first place, and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are finding with like a decent. I know you're president and all, but you usually consider our opinions for once. Dot dot dot. Monica's quickly taking aback by Suki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure you and Cran want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much as pleasing as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um. No! Not so right, isn't she? This club! Something more than a place for people to hang out! Why do you think that everyone here is saying all the same thing I did? But that, that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Cran- Alright, why are you even doing this club? Where do you want to get out of this? Well, that's not really something I could be honest about, is it? In fact, I remember you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits on the stairs at her desk. What's the point of all this anyways? Why is doing this club was a mistake? Dot dot dot. Now you've done it, Nasuki. What to me? I just woke up my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about the word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. We don't understand that at all. I just... I don't want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Just there's a problem with the club being that for me. There aren't. Not many places. Other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking away anything. No, Krant. It's not the same. It don't want to be the same with the direction that she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have judged any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Nasuki starts packing up her things. Oh, Nasuki... I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Nasuki... Nasuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Da da da. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of a different, I guess. Okay, then. I like this! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody ever cries she killed herself. I mean... I'm indifferent. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Crand? What do you want out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is the best, better than I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. For the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many numbers, but rather the quality of each member. But that's why I'll end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes to their own qualities in a special way. With each change of members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you could help, uh, like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well maybe we can talk to Nasuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri? Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. I feel like you deserve to know that I think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M monica I want to do everything I can to make this club better. If the club is a little bit... Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for the day. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Cran? Um. Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I want to chat a little Cran before we leave. Just see what other things it's time and all that. It's important to me as a, as a president. Da da da. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't... Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves as Yuri exits the room. Phew! Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Great, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of responsible for that as a president. And I really do... It 
it's getting foggy. Hey, Kimba, you know, looks like the girls are giving you a hard time. With how mean Asuki is and everything, you're being a little bit, you know, huh? Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Uh. You know what I mean? But it's weird because it's not time even. We've really gotten spending time together. Uh, my throat feels like it's bleeding. <sighs> together, yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess I only have a couple days. So I didn't mean to say something weird. I just took out the things I was over to talk to you about. Things I only know you can understand. So that, that's why. Wait, not yet, no! I'm gonna end the video right there, guys. The next video is probably gonna be fucking 10 minutes long because I know there's not much after this, but I, I, I honestly feel like this is gonna be the last episode. So that's gonna know that this is not the last episode. So it's not completely fucked. That episode is gonna be very short, probably, but I'm not gonna fuck up the audio. I hope to God that wasn't me foreshadowing because if I fuck up the audio again, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Alright, guys, like, comment, subscribe. It's been ya boy! TNGX Crand. Adios, amigos.